ever found yourself in a situation whereby you keep complaining that your partner doesn't love you and they also keep complaining that you don't see how much they love you or you don't appreciate it? The problem might just be that maybe none of you understands your language of love. So they may be speaking to you in a language that is foreign to you. If that is something that you've ever encountered, continue watching this video because today we're going to talk about the five languages of love. <laughs> language can help you to communicate that to your partner since you know how you want to be loved so let's look at the different languages of love and maybe you'll be able to identify what resonates with you the first language of love is words of affirmation someone who values words of affirmation wants to be told using words how much you love them how much you care for them how much you appreciate them these are not the people who you'll always say that oh i show her oh i show him every day that i love i love them they need to hear it come out of your mouth you need to tell them i love you you need to compliment them tell me tell them you're looking good you see you're smelling nice these are people who need you to Give them that good morning text, especially if they are, they are women. They need that, um, they need you to chat with them, you know, on, on social media, on WhatsApp, checking up on them. These are the people who need you to appreciate what they are doing, telling them thank you for working hard to put food on our table. Thank you for taking care of our kids. Thank you for making their home look beautiful. Okay. So if your partner keeps complaining that they don't, you don't tell them you love them and you wonder why it's a big deal, it may be because words of affirmation is their primary or their main language of love. We have different languages of love and if I value words of affirmation does not mean that you should not surprise me the gift. You should also do that. But it means that the one thing that if you t if you do i really really understand and i get it that you love me is to tell me verbally if you tell me linda you're the most gorgeous girl i've ever seen in my entire life i don't know what i was doing <laughs> before i met you i value you a lot i'm like yes keep them coming keep them coming okay so you compliment this person you appreciate them for what they do thank you for coming to my graduation party thank you for coming to my birthday thank you for taking the trash out thank you for being a good mother a good father to our children words of affirmation you speak them out okay so these are not there are some people who are like oh they know my partner knows how do they know again i ask if you don't tell them so speak it out the second love language is quality time someone who values quality time wants you to be fully present when you're talking to them they want you to look them in the eye you see they want you to know to be like to to really feel that you're giving them your undivided attention this kind of person wants to have meaningful conversations with you okay not and when you are spending time together there's a reason it's called quality time it's not like you're there watching sports on the tv and she's there flipping some fashion magazines no that is not quality time quality time is you switch off that tv you mute it and then you look at me when i'm talking so that i can feel like you are really there you are focusing on me fully and if you're engaging in an activity then we're engaging in it together if we are hiking we are both hiking from the beginning to the end through the we are laughing we are having fun we are getting challenges but we are doing it together if you're watching something if you're chilling on the couch you're watching la casa de papel we are watching it together not that i'm watching it and on your, on your phone or with your boys or you're doing something or i'm talking to you and you're like mm -hmm, yeah yeah yes let's continue that is not giving me your undivided attention the third language of love is acts of service this is where I, I fall. This is my primary language of love. These are the people who will tell you things like actions speak 
louder than words you know they want you to show them by doing something for them something that makes them feel good something that makes them feel appreciated something that helps makes their life easier eh? if you've ever had a boyfriend who used to do your homework or your, <laughs> your projects for you and you loved it no that, that's acts of service this person is doing something for you hmm? when i had a boyfriend who used to split his shopping with me shop ah! <laughs> and yes you may think that falls under gifts but it's not a gift he was doing something for me especially my own shopping um it took long to arrive from home he knew that i didn't have anything so he would split it with me so whenever this guy told me that linda i love him like feel it because you know what that's the language that speaks to me so i'm the kind of person who values acts of service so if you're dating someone like me this is not someone who you keep telling them you know i love you you know i love you but if they call you and they're like you know what babe i'm stranded somewhere in town can you please help me out you know what babe my computer is not functioning can you please help me, help me to sort this out you know what babe i have this um this interview and uh, i need to get to this place but i'm not able to are you able to help me if you're not able to come through for this person they will not understand how much you love them no matter how much you repeat for me i do value words of affirmation and i like someone to tell me how much they appreciate me but if you're not doing something to to help me out something that makes me feel good i will not understand I'm like yeah yeah you, yeah you said you love me okay okay but if you do something for me i'm like i get it you love me you know <laughs> it doesn't have to be things that cost money let's say you're looking for an internship or a job and your guy knows the kind of companies you would like to work for and he goes ahead and secures that internship for you you know that is doing something for you that is something meaningful that is acts of service okay the fourth language of love is gifts this is straightforward okay just giving someone a physical symbol of your love physical tangible not you know some people are like you know what i spend my time with you so that's a gift okay <laughs> there are people who value gifts a lot and if that is someone's primary language of love then they need you to give them physical i'm saying physical tangible is it chocolate is it flowers is it a watch is, uh, is it shoes if you want this to make an impact for someone who values gifts give them something that you know they appreciate meaningful gifts let's say someone your partner is into maybe art they've been talking about painting or drawing for some time but they haven't gotten that courage to do it and then you go and buy them a painting brush or just like some art materials that is giving someone a meaningful gift the fifth language of love is physical touch these are the people who like to cuddle they love to hold hands no when you're talking to them it's just like eh, touching their hair you know playing with their hair you know touching their shoulders no you're know, touching their knee you're rubbing their thighs these are people that when you're together you're not like seated over there and she's seated over here you're always touching each other these are people who value getting on the trampoline a lot getting on the trampoline you know <laughs> This is YouTube. I don't want to be obscene. S E X. So these are people who love that a lot. And yes, most people love that. So, but these are people that if you don't engage in that act with them, they're like, you don't even love me. When was the last time we did this and this? You no, know, it is important, very, very important to them. Some people can take advantage of this and they be like, you know, this is my love language. You know, and sometimes we know it's not their primary love language of love, but they're just getting you to give them that. So you need to be careful with that. But physical touch. If you're with someone who keeps complaining that whenever you are, you are walking together, people can't even know. You know, some people, some couples walk on the street and you can't even know that they are together. Unless maybe you talk to one of them and then the other one comes up and you're like, oh, because one is walking in front and the other one is following behind and they are together. They've left the house together. They are going somewhere together. <laughs> if your partner is someone who loves physical touch that is going to be a problem because they want you to be holding hands with them walking side by side you know 
things like that you know if you're if you're late you know those those guys like maybe you are somewhere and uh, the guy is like holding you like on the waist here like yeah uh, yeah <laughs> that's physical touch you may be having problems in a relationship and you don't even understand why you just feel that like, your partner does not love you and yet they do it's only that maybe they are not showing it to you in a way that you understand now that you've looked at these five languages of love i think you can start to understand where you lie let's say your language of love is acts of service and you come home tired and your hubby is there he's watching news he's watching sports you are cooking you're looking after the children you're you are checking their homework thinking of what everyone will eat tomorrow you know you'll feel like you, he doesn't love you because you'll be like he doesn't love me like he's just he can't even help me out but if he comes in and says you know what baby let me um let me take the kids through their homework as you do the rest and then you feel like oh my goodness he loves me so much you see if at this point you still don't you're not still sure of your language of love there are quizzes you can take online so guys i also took this quiz to get to know my language of love i feel like acts of service is my main language of love and i also value the rest a little bit of these especially words of affirmation and quality time quality time but I also took a quiz so I can be sure. This quiz has questions like, it's more meaningful to me when someone I love puts their arm around me in public and when someone I love surprises me with their gifts. Of course, when someone I love puts their arm around me in public. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when I receive a gift from someone I love or I hear from someone I love that they love me. Hey, tell me you love me. Tell me. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love helps me out, especially if they know I'm already busy. Oh, I hear someone I love tell me that they appreciate me when they help me out. So, I finished the quiz. Let's see. Let's see what my love language is according to this quiz. I don't know how true these things are. Who has ever taken any of these quizzes? Let's wait and see. What? <laughs> it says, your primary love language is acts of service. Guys, I'm not lying. Here are my results, okay? Acts of service takes number one, followed by quality time, which is at 23%, words of affirmation, and then physical touch, and the last one is receiving gifts. I didn't know between quality time and words of affirmation which one came first, but I knew my number one love language is acts of service. And then uh, the next one is physical touch, and then receiving gifts is last. Oh my goodness. I, I thought I loved it, receiving gifts. I do. <laughs> Your primary love language is acts of service. Can someone helping with homework really be an expression of love? Absolutely. Anything you do to ease the burden of responsibilities weighing on an act of service person will speak volume. The words he or she most wants to hear is, let me do that for you. Laziness, broken commitments, making promises you know you're not going to keep, and making more work for them, tell speakers of this language that their feelings don't matter. When others serve you out of love and not obligation, you feel truly valued and loved. Yes, so you can do something for me. You know, like getting 500 of your friends to subscribe to this channel. <laughs> yes, guys, guys, I'm going to leave a link to this site that I use to determine my love language. There are just a few questions. Not a few. I, th I think I answered more than 10 questions. But at the end of the day, they tell you which, uh, what is your primary love language and how someone can express that to you. Okay? Guys, I had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you enjoy it. And as usual, subscribe, guys. Subscribe. Until next time, be good to yourself. Bye!